Hello everybody, uh, welcome to another weekly update from me, Martin. I'm an Inkscape developer trying to develop Inkscape features and fixes for regular everyday users. Thank you for jo joining me this week and uh, as all, always I want to give a big shout out to all of my s sponsors and supporters over on Patreon and Liberapay. Thank you all. Uh, it wouldn't be possible to spend the time that I do helping uh, with the features on Inkscape without your support. And also to everybody else who shares these videos and encourages others to help support as well. Um, every bit of outreach helps. So this week I'm continuing on the process that I did from last week on pagination. This is going to be a long process, I think. Uh, this is part four. The experimental code that we did last week with artboards, uh, I have actually removed that code now. If I want to pursue artboards, I'm going to do that separately. I want to thank everybody for commenting. Uh, it gave me a lot of um, perspective on what users are actually need, what they actually need from pagination. And the vast, vast majority of responders said that what they're looking for in pagination is a simple shape which can be opened and saved. Um, I started work on the user interface. So if you're going to have pages, then you need some way to be able to edit them, which suggests a pagination tool. Uh, so I started work on a, a tool icon and a toolbar and some tooling. But I'll be honest with you, I kind of got frustrated because I'm not entirely sure I know what the design is going to look like for page editing yet. And so some of the ideas that I had in the original design from 2018 do not make as much sense to me anymore. So I'm going to have to review the design uh, and get back to it. So instead of toolbars, I decided, you know what? Let's move on to the next task, and that's to be able to open and save PDF files. And that actually worked out quite well. So I now have a prototype where you can open up a PDF file and it opens all of the pages, uh, even the little chat, chat, chat box to decide if you want to open up one page or, or all of them. Uh, it generates the, pa the pages uh, as these new page definitions. In fact, it's the only way to make pages uh, in the current builds. And um, unfortunately, I could not complete the part where it saved. I was really hoping to be able to show, show you like, like uh, op opening a PDF, editing it and saving it. But the uh, the saving process is a bit of a stum stumbling block because it's very, very tightly woven code that every single stage of it assumes that you're dealing with one page. And so I need to unpick the weaving a little bit and, and figure out where in the code the multi-page support should go, uh, if that makes sense. Um, that's about it for pagination. Please let me know uh, how you think we're getting on. Uh, one other small task that I did this week, I added a bot to the Inkscape website so that it can tell pe people in the chat rooms when calendar events are about to happen. So it's basically a notifier. Uh, this is because uh, administration in, in an open source pro pro project is quite hard. And so we need technologies to be able to take over some of the administrative ac actions to make it kind of cheaper to run the project. Uh, so hopefully this bot will allow calendars and the chat, chat room to be better integrated and people will remember events that are about to happen inside the project. Um, and that's about it for this week. Uh, thank you very much for watching uh, another vid video. Please do comment below. Uh, definitely share these videos with people you think might be interested. And uh, yeah, I'll see you all next week.